Hello and welcome to the Dashboard Builder. In this video, I will show you how to create a dashboard using the Dashboard Builder. Before we get started, I am assuming that you have already installed the Dashboard Builder on your computer. If you want to know how to install this software, please look at another tutorial on how to install the Dashboard Builder. Now access the Dashboard Builder in your browser. This is your welcome screen. Close this screen as we don't need to go with Take a Tour. When you see this red cross button that means, you are not connected to a data source. Click this database icon to connect to your database. Currently the dashboard builder is connected to these data sources. Click on my SQL, enter your host server name, database username, password, and database name. Click the connect button. You are now successfully connected to your database. Click the OK button to continue. The red cross icon turns to a green check button. Now click the chart settings button. A default chart is created. You can also change the default SQL query as per your desire, and hit the run query button to get the latest data. Now select order date from the drop down value for X axis. Unit sold for Y axis. We will be using a bar chart. Change the color. We need a quarterly updated graph, so click this tab click order. Sort the data in ascending order. Click the unit sold value. Click the sum. Your chart is updated. Now extend the property tab. Enter quarter as x axis title. Unit sold as y axis. Show label. Here you go. Now save changes. Resize and reposition it. We want to add one more graph, so click this plus icon. If you want to have another data source then click this icon, or else the dashboard builder will be using the data source from your first chart. Click the chart settings button. Here is your previous database. Change the chart type to a line chart. Select order date for x axis. Unit sold for y axis. Click the order date and select the quarter. Ascending order. Unit sold click sum. Now we want to do some forecast. Here is your forecast sales data first quarter 2024 and third quarter 2025. Enter unit sold for legends. Show label. Save changes. Our second chart is ready. Resize and reposition it. We want to change the position of the legend as the legends are not showing properly. Click the chart setting. Select the top left position and save changes. Now save the dashboard. Enter the name of your dashboard. You can preview your dashboard. You can download it as an image or take a printer out. Share your dashboard if you are using a public IP or domain. You can also generate PHP code for your dashboard. When you deploy this code to another server, don't forget to copy this dependent folder to your new location. That's all for now. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe this channel so that you can get notifications of our new videos and tutorials.